Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now celebrating 17 years of broadcasting success, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again, both for our radio audience in the South and our online audience joining us worldwide, especially through our friends at Our Heart Radio. We're glad you all could be with us as well. I was just saying to my next guest, it's hard to believe, but it was almost to the date six years ago that I had a chance to talk to Shaheen Sean Solomon on this program. He's a writer, he's a producer, content creator, and actor. Uh, at the time, we were talking about the film Sinbad the Fifth Voyage, and here we are now in 2020 talking about something very special that you guys can see exclusively on Amazon Prime. It's Sinbad the Fifth Voyage. It's the ultimate director's cut with extras. We'll talk to Shaheen not only about the journey with this particular project, but what it's been like for him to do what he loves, how he's been dealing with the 2020 that all of us have been experiencing, but also let you guys know how to stay connected with him as he's looking for it as well. Shaheen, welcome to, back to the program. Glad to have you back on with us. Hi, Cyrus. How are you? Thank you so much for having me again. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Oh, man, I'm doing pretty good. Glad to be able to speak with you again. When uh, when October Coast uh, told me about what you were doing with this new project, I'm like, wait a minute. I remember talking to this guy six years ago, <laughs> six years ago and now here we are. So I want to talk about this ride for you because, as I said, you've been active not only in front of the camera, Shaheen, but also in front of the camera. What has it been like for you to do what you love and then to have your work recognized? Um. Uh, first of all, back to what you were saying about six years to the day almost, it's unbelievable. I, I totally agree with uh, how the universe works, that we go full circle, come all the way around, and then come back and meet again and talk again. It's amazing. And by the way, congrats to your work, uh, and thank you. Uh, thank you again for having me on iHeart. Uh, really uh, appreciate the time and the uh, uh, attention towards my work. Uh, it's been really good. Um, it's been very creative. I've uh, uh, advanced, I think, and skill skill wise, many fold since then. Uh, when I when we finished shooting the actual project, I was uh, so new and so uh, wet behind the ears, if you if you want to put it that way, as, as the old saying goes. And I didn't know much about a lot of things, but uh, as far as uh, creating and developing and all that, but. Uh, I'm a learning type of person. I love to learn. That's why I do. I wear so many hats. It's more of like a how 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 do they do this? Like I, I want to learn how to do this, and I want to be able to implement that, and then work with the guys that do it themselves. So that's kind of how I did it. And um, uh, the movie went and did its thing and went everywhere. And then uh, there was uh, we we were under a lot. A lot of people don't know this, but we were in a, under a lot of pressure to finish that film because we had a theatrical release with uh, AMC and Regal and uh, a small theatrical release. Uh, but still, nonetheless, at that time, it was like a big deal. Um, so we were under so much pressure. When you have a date, uh, again, one of the things I didn't, wasn't too keen on, um, since I'm working on the creative side so much, is when there's a date set, uh, for, especially for indie films, you, you want to try to meet that date, and then uh, you're under pressure to get it done. So there were some parts of the film that I, I really wanted to go back and work on it. Like I always told myself, man, I wish I had another six months on the film. I wish I had another six months. There's so many more ideas I had that we just weren't able to do. We didn't have the time. The technology wasn't there with the special effects and all that. So um, after having gone and written maybe four or five other projects that, I, that, I'm, uh, that, that are in the kind of in development and all ready to go, I, um, you know, we took a break in 2020 uh, I actually had shot another film that we just finished uh, a post-production on, actually. It's funny because uh, I'm like, wait, I, I now have two movies coming out during the lockdown. That's, too, that's funny. You know, no, no, like not much is going on, but we, we had right. just finished it, and then we did, we did all the post-production. That movie is a sci-fi, has massive special effects. Uh, that one is just, oh, my God, it's a crazy movie. I can't wait to share that, but at the right time, I will. Um, but back to Sindad. I was like, um, uh, we have a little bit of time here during this COVID lockdown. Uh, why don't we, you know, why don't I take a look uh, at, at the dailies and see? Um, there's some stuff I wanted to add. I wanted, I wanted to add a uh, uh, expanded origin story between Sinbad and Parissa because it didn't make sense. Mm. He, uh, 
he's like working so hard and we never even see like why why does he like why does he love her so much what 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 is, why does he want to marry her so bad so badly like so i we put that all that back in there was another monster a, a brass well i don't want to give it away but there's other monsters and creatures that we had shot that we just weren't able to make them look good enough so we just didn't put them in and uh we were running out of time so we're like okay you know what just forget those we'll figure out later and uh, so all those went back in, and along with a more uh, up-to-date kind of a look and feel to the film, uh, along with a, there's even a end credits, if anybody watches the film on Prime Video, uh, there's an end credits scene that we put in, and it's a, it's a prelude to the next one that I'm working on, so everyone should watch it. And then there's an extra to kind of give a little bit of background, like, who is this guy? Because I started getting a lot of that, like, who is this guy? Like, where, where, how did this come about? And What's going on? Well, what is this movie? Like, who developed this? And so we put a little bit of extra so people can see who the filmmakers are and how it kind of works behind the scenes and how we all operate and how we all get along. And uh, right. it was really fun to do. So I'm very, very excited that uh, the universe gave me an opportunity to uh, get this movie, uh, the director's cut, which I can't believe I had the opportunity to do because that's usually, you know, for big movies with big budgets where they do the director's release. But uh, having this opportunity is just amazing. I'm very grateful for it. So there's a couple of things you mentioned there, Shaheen, I want to go back to, because I think this is an interesting conversation for us to have, again, six years after our first one, in that you know, you are a person who you know, is not just a, you know, someone who, who acts on a project and you move on. You're someone who lives with the project. So it's interesting yes. to hear you talk yes. about Sinbad the Fifth Voyage and what you wanted to do and how you saw 2020 as an opportunity. Do you think that's something that some content creators, you know, they're going to look back and say, I wish I had used this time better? Do you think because, you know, of what you were able to do, and looking now what you have, this new project for Amazon Prime, do you think that is maybe a missed opportunity that others are not taking advantage of? Uh, honestly, Cyrus, I, I believe uh, everyone, I've always said this, uh, and it's not really a big secret, but I've, uh, as a student of life, I've noticed that during crunch time moments where, the, where things have changed and pressure is on a little bit, uh, people's real personalities tend to come out. Uh, it's like the glass is half uh, full type of a scenario. Uh, my life's always been glasses half full, no matter what. And uh, I'm a very like, hey, oh, we have like we have like like four or five months here. Like, let's whip out the uh, Sinbad uh, store, um, you know, server, uh, and uh, take a look and just take a look at stuff because technology's come a long way. I've gotten a lot better myself personally, technically, and um, I have friends. They all know me now, and we're all buddies. And, you know, we. No, we, we don't just do art together, but we talk together and we're friends. And they all, they're all pro- professional uh, guys, artists, VFX artists. So I'm like, let's take it out and just take a look at uh, all, the storage, uh, all the stuff we have in storage and see. And I'm, I went through the dailies and I'm like, oh, my God, we have so much footage that we did not implement. And it would be a shame for the audience not to get a chance to see. Like Parissa, the, the girl that played Parissa, Danielle Duval, she did a great job. She didn't get that much uh, because we couldn't edit it. We didn't have the time to edit it and. It wasn't coming out well, and the editors that, were, that edited the first version were like, nah, these, this is too slow. This is, I'm like, well, I wanted that. I wanted that rom- romance, and I wanted that like, old school kind of like sword and sandal. So I, I, didn't, I didn't get a chance to implement that. But yes, I think that, back to what your question was, I think it's important to always take opportunities, and especially downtimes, to create and to get creative. Because even Einstein said that, um, create, creativity leads to many things in life, not just art and stuff like that, but uh, everything else comes from creativity. So you want to stick to, um, you know, doing something positive with your downtime instead of moping and looking at all the negativity on the media and all that stuff. Just, you know, concentrate. That's what I decided to do. It worked out for me. And look, film's on Prime. And uh, I really am so proud of this version because <laughs> honestly, it was like godsend because I was like, before when I would see some of the shots that we didn't fix that made it through, through quality control, and, and I can only see it as a director. I'm sure other people don't even see it, but I see it and I always like blink. Like it's a natural effect. Like I'll be like, oh my God, blink. Like I don't want to see that. <laughs> blink. <laughs> like yeah. small, like little things. Like for example, there's one sequence where we're fighting the giant bird. And uh, there was a frame, extra frame in there. I'm like, oh, my God, nobody caught that. Nobody caught that. 
And then, like, just blink. I blink to not see it myself because I get embarrassed. Uh, so uh, fixing all that stuff was just, oh, man, just I got to say, it was just I'm so grateful and thankful to, to have this opportunity. And the skills that I learned along the way, uh, yeah, another thing that you said was, yes, I, I'm not one of those that acts and moves on. I'm very hands-on. And uh, each one of these projects that I do are, like, think of it as a custom, handmade, organic film uh, with, with one guy truly at the helm with no pressure from anywhere to do anything, change anything, put anything in, no, nothing ever political or, or anything like that. Everything I do is straight up creativity. I don't care if somebody like sees it and sees something because people are always, always going to find something negative about your work, but mine is straight from the heart and it's just creativity. Um, no right. messages or anything like that. Just, just creativity and, and, and good old fashioned home. Uh, filmmaking. So yes, I I I've decided to kind of go that route. I, I'm not one of those that just wants to like be in in a movie for five minutes and then go to the next guy's movie. I have, I have a lot of offers and I've had a lot of offers, especially after Sinbad. But um, I don't know. It's something about the craftsmanship of making the film that I've gotten used to, that I love to do, and I uh, trying to advance that to go faster and make more stuff so people can enjoy. Because I know there's some people out there that like my work. And so right. I'm working on that, and I'm, uh, I would say, 110% better than I was three, four years ago. Yeah. Well, the other thing you mentioned, too, talking about timing, uh, Shaheen, that I think is important is that, you know, the technology, you said the technology wasn't there. Look at where we are now at 2020 and what's available. Do you think in some ways it was just meant for you to be able to give it a fresh look, considering what's at your disposal now that wasn't there before? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think that when you put yourself in a position of doing something positive, it always comes back and uh, you see, wow, that was the right decision. You know, so, I mean, everybody was telling me, oh, don't do this, don't do this, like there's too much work or, or uh, just uh, do, do go raise funds and get more of a budget because we had no budget. Uh, get, you do this and do that. And I'm like, eh, that's going to be like five years from now because I've seen it. I've seen movies, tenfold. a lot of people don't know, but most of these big tentpole movies, a lot of them, uh, if they're not rebooted, if they're fresh, they're, they've been in the works for 10 years, man. Like these actors started 10 years ago on pitching a project and it's 10 years later and now uh, the movie is just getting greenlit and uh, they're making it. Like uh, a lot of big movies, uh, that, uh, some of them 20 years, like in the 90s. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you one example. It's not a secret or anything, but for example, Wonder Woman, was greenlit in 97, 1997, and it's now 2020, and we're waiting for the sequel for the, for the first one that came out a couple of years ago. So I didn't want to go right. that route. I, I don't know why there's such a lag time in, in creativity. There's so many. So I said, you know what? I want to do this now, and I'm going to put my best foot forward, and we'll see what happens. Worst case scenario is I have a bunch of footage for demo reels <laughs> for everybody. Right. You know, we'll all have demo I'll have a demo reel for my acting reel. You'll have some for your acting reel. We'll have a good time. It'll be like theater. And we shot it on film, and uh, it'll be fun for me to kind of go into the edit room with the guys and learn. So I, I said, this is like my film school. I'm going to do it no matter what. So we did it, and here we are. Um, uh, it just kind of like uh, – uh, and then, like, if I had not done that, right now I would be like, okay, so what is all this technology? How do we use it? Um, since I had done that, to answer your question, yes, big plus – and it really worked out. I always say, pull the trigger on a cre creative idea and let, let the chips fall where they may and do your best to do the best you can on all ends, of the, both, both behind and in front of the camera. Right, right. For those who are just tuning in on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're speaking with Shaheen Sean Solomon today. We're talking with him not only about the journey he's been on over the years, being a content creator and an actor, as well as a producer, but also about the new project that's available on Amazon Prime. It's Sinbad the Fifth Voyage, Ultimate Director's Cut with Extras. Um, you guys can go there now to be able to watch the film. Definitely and make sure that you uh, share it with your friends as well. Uh, the last thing I want to talk to you about, uh, Shaheen, that I think is so important is because because you know, now that you've had this, you mentioned you have another project that you're, you know, you're already working on for post, so you have other things you've been able to do. What has it been like for you to see your growth? I mean, we talked about your success, but what has it been like for you to see your own growth throughout this journey? Uh, thank you for that, Cyrus, by the way. Thank you so much for, for pitching uh, uh, 
uh, send back the director's cut to, to everyone. I hope that people can go uh, watch it, enjoy it, and just have a good time with it. The stop motion and all that stuff was something that we really pushed to bring back. And uh, I get a lot of emails from fans almost every day about that, by the way. But uh, back to your question. Um, it's been, uh, I can tell you this, I'm ready. I'm uh, probably the most prime person to do a big studio project. Uh, I have some stuff that I'm actually in development on for bigger stuff that I'm trying to advance and uh, 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 go into the bigger arena with the bigger providers uh, on a regular basis. So we're working on some really, really, really big stuff. I can't talk about it now because they made me say that don't talk about stuff that we're not like greenlit yet. So don't, can't talk about it. But I will when it's greenlit. Um, so I, I feel like my skills and my, the amount of time I spent on it has probably made me an expert in filmmaking now and uh, have a lot of, lot of space to go, a lot of space to go. Like I feel like I'm at the beginning of the spectrum. And uh, I have, like I said, I, I, uh, during this time, since the last time we spoke, I've written five scripts, full, full feature scripts. One is a, uh, is a series. Uh, I have, they're developed. I don't, I don't mean they're just like, just scripts. They're developed, fully developed to be shot, like as far as uh, storyboards and uh, shot lists and my director's notes. And this is all stuff that just came naturally while I was developing. Like, for example, I, I wrote a, a time travel sci-fi project, huge project. This, this is like a $100 million film, which I, I won't be able to implement a, 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 until we start talking to the studios about it. But uh, when I was writing that, I was like, Hey, my, the skill, it's like uh, Kung Fu. You know that uh, show Kung Fu where he keeps thinking, remembering his training? It's kind of mm -hmm. like that. Uh, I'd be like writing and I'm like, hey, I remember on the set, like that would be cool if we put the camera here. So I would write, I'll write that in there as my note. Like usually the director takes the script and they break down the script with their shot list. And then uh, they hand that over to the first AD and then they basically talk over and then plan out the, the, the whole film's shot list. That's how the professional way to do it is. Now, of course, it doesn't always turn out that way. But uh, for me, it's like, hey, I, I, like, I know, like, you know, like, it's just naturally coming to me, like riding a bicycle. And then on the, um, when we get on, on set, um, it's just fast. I'm very fast. Like, hey, put the camera here. Put the camera there. Let's move this. Hey, let's try this. Let's move on. Like, uh, I try, I've become very efficient, I think. Um, I, even on the uh, editing side and the uh, music side, everything is, so one thing people don't, don't realize about filmmaking and why a lot of filmmakers do filmmaking, uh, for me personally, I know I could have gone just the acting route. Uh, I've been offered jobs and stuff, uh, but I've declined because I'm usually working on one of my own projects. Uh, I'm very grateful for that, by the way, um, to, to, to have opportunities. But uh, one of the things is movie making is probably the biggest, most encircled, amount of creativity as far as everything from like writing to ideas to uh, painting, music, composing, art, like as far as concept art and drawing, editing, picture taking, videography, sound. It's like everything you can think of in the world of art. There's nothing, even sculpting and stuff because like we're, we find ourselves sculpting stuff. So like in this last movie I did, um, one of the guys that helped me on my last picture, uh, we developed this, this kind of like um, alien uh, machine that terraforms the land. And uh, he, we, we, we sculpted, he sculpted that and I saw him do it. And then we animated it here in my studio. We had the animation uh, happen and I was like, hey, I can't believe it. I'm like animating that. I did not know how to do this stuff four or five years ago. Like these, someone had to right. do all this. So with, as a team, um, I, they, and they love it because they're like, hey, this director knows what he's doing. I really want to work with him because like when we work together, it's not like he's retarded and he's like, hey, well, how do you, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? It's like, hey, what do you guys want me to do? Like, uh, what, 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 like I'm an assistant to them or they're an assistant to me or whatever, but vice versa. It's like a creative uh, process. And I think that's where I've come a long way since my last picture. It's like a lot, I'm a lot more... Um, uh, like everything is a lot more organic. I don't have a lot of questions. I know what I'm doing, <laughs> you know? Right, right.
Well, I tell you, and we know that that is only going to continue as things continue to move forward for you, Shaheen. That's why it's so great to catch up. Again, everyone, Shaheen Shun Solomon has been our guest. Make sure you guys head over to Amazon Prime to take a look at Sinbad the Fifth Voyage, Ultimate Director's Cut uh, with the extras as well. Make sure you guys do that. And, uh, Shaheen, how can they stay connected with you, man? Uh, thanks, Cyrus. I really appreciate it. Uh, they can, uh, best place is my Facebook. Uh, it's uh, facebook.com uh, Shaheen Solomon. Uh, S-H-A-H-I-N-S-O-L-I-M-O-N. Uh, that's probably the best place. I uh, do post stuff. I post creative stuff. Sometimes I'll have an idea. I'll post that. So it's uh, uh, anybody who's interested in my work, uh, want to see clips of it, of, of Sinbad or other upcoming stuff, uh, just go there and you can stay in touch with me there. All right, so make sure you guys are following him on Facebook. And they also have a, a Instagram page as well for the film Sinbad Movie Official. You guys can check out as well for some of the updates that are being posted as well. Thank you guys again for joining us for another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>